Brian here, thanks for pressing play. Once again, I'm going to try and answer one of those questions that you haven't actually asked in the first place. Because I was wondering, what is the acceleration difference between a turbo diesel automatic vehicle and a new generation petrol hybrid? To find out, I'm going to use a 1.6 turbo diesel, 9 speed automatic, 120 horsepower Honda Civic, and I'm going to compare it to a Hyundai Kona, which is a 1.6 petrol engine with 105 horsepower and a 1.56 kilowatt hour battery made to that. So let's start off by going from zero up as far as 120 kilometers an hour. actually the hybrid car load definitely launches better so it managed to get going so it's got more immediate power so to be fair the hybrid car is 140 horsepower the turbo diesel car is 120 horsepower so there is an immediate difference but the hybrid car has more immediate power because it doesn't have to wait for the turbo to get going as the diesel does let's see what it's like starting from second gear in the diesel at 20 kilometers an hour and the same in the Kona Again, combustion engines are letting the whole side down here, but anyway, starting off in third gear at 30 kilometers an hour. So that looked a lot closer actually. At the end of the second gear kind of roll, there was about seven or eight kilometers between the two cars once the Kona had hit 120 kilometers an hour. Civic is back at 111. But this time around there's only about three or four kilometers an hour between them so there's definitely a difference. Which kind of confirms what I would have been thinking anyway because hybrid cars have that immediate torque whereas the turbo diesel cars take a little bit of time to get the turbo going but as you see as you get further up as momentum kicks in there's much less of a difference. Let's try the last one. Fourth gear from 40 kilometers an hour. And a similar result again. So actually what we see is from zero, from just the get-go, the battery actually does help. So it does definitely improve acceleration. So the hybrid car gets off the line quicker. But as momentum kicks in, 30, 40 kilometers an hour, there's much less of a gap. So you'll see as the cars are rolling from 30, 40 kilometers an hour, they're much closer by the time you get to 120 kilometers an hour. Anyway, there is a useless piece of research and information. Uh, for any more useless facts or something that you want investigated in a car, give me a shout and I'll give it a try. Thanks for taking time to watch. And if you think the video has been useful, please do like. And if you think you want to see more useless information like this, hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you.